So Alex, what about where we are right now? By a sushi spot in Simi Valley. I have a sushi addiction, so I gotta have sushi at least three times a week. Well, what's your... I'm what probably you gonna from mercury poisoning, which is all... I'm not gonna die from that. I'm gonna die from a lot more up things than that, but... What do you order at sushi? Live scallop, avocado belly sashimi, yellowtail belly sashimi, black snapper, tempachi, uh, uni, toro, all kinds of stuff. All the good, you know? All the belly. Because the belly is where all the money's at. Because you eat your simi belly. Yeah, because I'm in simi <laughs> belly, I need to eat simi belly. <laughs> Can you just let me enjoy my lunch and I'll see you back at the shop, please? Yeah. By the way, a new Ferrari? Disgusting. <laughs> it's my new daily driver. You want electric? I had to, man. I had to. The TRX, $300 a week in gas. I drive that every day. We needed a four-door car in the family, aside of my wife's car, just in case, you know what I'm saying? All the cars at home are all supercars, so that doesn't really work, especially now having two kids. You know, if my wife takes the four-door and I have the kids, I'm screwed, so... I like Taycons, they're cool. I love Porsches, they're even cooler. Why not get a Taycan, right? Yeah, Maybe what's, a, what's on the wrist today? AP, Royal Oak, 50th anniversary. 50th. So any, any new cars at the shop today? Yeah, we got this Toyota Tacoma that came in for uh, some service. So oh. I'm gonna put that up and do an oil change real quick. We got my old uh, C63. I owned this car like, what, eight years ago or something like that? Is eight, this the one you had to longer? steal back? Uh, no, this is not the one I had to steal back. <laughs> this is another one. This one had the Magnuson blower on there that we did a bunch of modifications to. This car made uh, 700, 700 wheel on uh, 91 and half E85 on stock headers, which is pretty cool. We got this 812 in for some maintenance. We got the Bentley in for some maintenance. We got my buddy's uh, GTR. That's actually for sale. It's a RD. I don't know what build, but it makes like 1500 wheel horsepower. Uh, it's basically a full blown, ready to go track car, roll cage, all that stuff. So if anybody's looking for a GTR, we're gonna let this thing go for pretty cheap. We might even, maybe we should raffle it off. Maybe we should do that, huh? Maybe we should get rid of this thing. Sell some but, merch. Yeah. So this thing's gotta go. He's got a couple more cars, so he's ready to sell it. And then we got the SVJ. That's got our new quad disc carbon carbon clutch in it that we're testing and making sure everything is good before we run all the final production builds for the clutches for the twin turbo cars. So this is my buddy Daniel's car. I'll be driving it all weekend, just making sure everything with the clutch is perfect. So far, uh, the engagement of the clutch is unbelievable. I mean, it's beautiful to have a clutch that could handle 2,000 plus horsepower, almost drive like a completely stock car. So we're gonna drive it around, make sure the clutch is cool before we start selling these clutches. We got the McLaren in. It was having some uh, issues when it was coming to a stop. It would die once in a while. So we got to check that out and see what's going on with that. So just a bunch of maintenance work. And then we got the little Audi in the back. That's a uh, manager's son's car at St. Vincent's. So, nice day, don't worry, I'll get to it this week. Are you sure about that? This week, this week's over, today's Friday. So, I'll get to it next week, but I gotta check what's up with that thing, there's something wrong with it. And then we got Paul's car finally at the shop. Next week, my buddy Blake will be coming by and we'll shoot some stuff for you guys. He's gonna actually, we're gonna go over everything with the car. First things first, the car's gonna go to the body shop. We're gonna clean some stuff up, get the roof redone, get all the paint redone, and then Blake's also gonna be fixing all the bodywork stuff, and then he's gonna be doing all the wrapping for the car. So he's gonna bring it back to what it used to look like with all the Hankook stuff and the way it looked when we were racing. So that's basically it for outside. Inside, obviously, we have a few projects that we're working on. We got my beautiful Tycon over there. You know what's so funny? I got screwed. I got a regular base Tycon so I could drive every day. And I'm like, let me just grab this thing. I'll put a body kit on it, slam it on some wheels. You know, have some fun. So I go and I'm looking for suspension 
and the regular Taycan is the only one that doesn't come with air suspension. It comes with springs. And the cheapest Taycan that they make is the most expensive suspension you need to buy. The only thing that's available for this car is a KW V4. So KW, I need a full sponsorship because I'm not about to spend, I don't know, six or $7,000 on coilovers for a freaking rear wheel drive Taycan that I'm just gonna drive to work and back. But I promise you guys, I know a lot of you guys are gonna make fun of me for buying an electric car. Honestly, with driving to Simi Valley every single day in the truck, man, the truck was getting me tired. And plus spending $300 uh, a week on gas in the truck was absolutely like insane. So I needed something that was comfortable. I could drive, put the kids in. And again, it's it's not a Tesla, okay? It's a Porsche, so it's so, it still drives like a Porsche. It handles unbelievable. It's a lot of fun. Obviously, it's not super fast, but it's cool to just get around town. We got Ron, my buddy Ron at AR. He's uh, making me a custom set of BBS LMs, 21s all around. Hopefully, KW will take care of me and give me some suspension for it so we could slam this thing to the floor. And then we got a front lip, rear diffuser, and all this other stuff coming for it. So at least when I'm driving around, I look bad. So. You guys, we'll show you updates with the Taycan right now. It looks like a rental car, just like a grandpa mobile, but whatever. This is a huge pallet from Tile, Zona, Tile. So they just sent us, I think, uh, 10 sets of uh, Aventador SV, SVJ, and LP 700 turbos, blow off valves, wastegate. So we got 10 kits worth of stuff over here that we're getting ready. Um, the guys have been fabbing all the intercooler cords. We can walk over there and check it out. We got my 812 on the lift. It's actually getting serviced, getting the windshield replaced. We got all new uh, panels for the bottom uh, because this car is low and everything hits it on the freeway and it cracks the panels. So we got brand new panels. And this car actually got sold to my good friend, as you guys know, that we've partnered up with, Sai at Creative Bespoke. So Sai will be taking this car, he's gonna do his magic pit, and then after he's done with it, it'll go back up for sale. So Sai has taken my personal 812, and he's gonna do his own thing to it, which he's amazing at, and then it'll be back online for sale with a full new body kit and everything else that's gonna be happening to that. So speaking of the 812, what do you think of the new Ferrari uh, the 12 new cylinder? That is the most embarrassing thing ever. I don't even know how Ferrari even put that car out after something like this. Especially after like the 812 competition. Like how do you, how do you put that nasty out? I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I think it's disgusting. That's my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. I will not buy one of those. Maybe I shouldn't talk too much because I know that when it comes out and people like Novatech or whatever and other body kit companies are probably gonna do some stuff to it and it's probably gonna end up looking pretty cool. But again, like first, first look, like when I saw it yesterday, I was like, oh, what the hell is it? So I think it's horrible. You never know, I could change my mind. It's just like the M3, M4, you know, in the beginning when it first came out, everybody was like, it's disgusting. Look at the front nostrils. It looks like this, it looks like that. But and then, you know, a couple companies got it, put a front lip on it, changed the grill, made it, you know, hollow and whatever. And I mean, the M4s and M3s look unbelievable now. I love them. So, you know, Ferrari might make us bite our tongue once we, modify once they, we modify the cars a little bit i mean it's still a v12 right so is that, there gonna be a gintani exhaust that, that, that's for sure that's that's for sure gonna be singing with the gintani music but the way the car looks i think it's hideous like hideous but so you would take the a12 over oh the... damn look at this dude look at that we got some everlast stuff we'll let the guys look at that so we got our r8 we are gonna be putting turbos on that car we got the STO sitting over there. That's gonna get twin turboed. As you guys know, I sold that car. It's going out to Florida real soon. We had some stuff that we had ordered that was on back order, so it's been a little slow, but the guys are working on hoses, wiring, and all that stuff, and then we'll be mounting the, the intercoolers and all that. We just redesigned our whole V10 kit, so we got all new intercoolers. I've done a lot of really cool stuff with that. We'll be ready to sell the V10 kits hopefully in about a couple months after we do some testing on the STO and we do some testing on our R8 GT4 on the track. So we're getting ready to really actually start providing more stuff like for the V10 market like we used to back in the day. So that's something to look forward to. Got a couple other cars going on. The guys are in the back fabricating 
I just got back from Arizona last night. I went for the day. I'm sure you guys saw some videos of it all over Instagram. Uh, we just um, unveiled my brother's old Aventador S, which Cy re redid with the uh, Duke Dynamics wide body, which came out unbelievable. He's taking that car on um, Gold Rush. And then once it comes back from Gold Rush, we'll be twin turboing that car too, and it'll be going for sale. So if anybody's looking for a bad Aventador S, hit up Cy. He just built a beautiful car. Go check out Creative Bespoke's website and look at all the cars they have listed. They have a bunch of cool stuff. So we've been using Everlast at our shop for years now. Um, we've probably had, I don't know, 10 of their welders. We still have four of them in the back and we actually reached out to them and they see that we've been using it for a long time. So they just sent us a couple of their new versions of their welders and also their wireless pedal and stuff. The guys have been asking for it for a while. I told them we're gonna try to get some new stuff for them, but today we came here and arrived at the door. It's in the shop, so let's call these guys over and tell them to come check it out. Yo, Kevin! Kevin! Chris, come here. Oh, nice. No. Look at I the didn't, typhoons? That's yeah, awesome. I didn't really get them. They were actually gifted to us by Everlast, so. Thanks, Everlast. Thank you. Thanks, Everlast. <laughs> Everlast really giving us love and giving us some new welders. That's right. I'm not opening this, this is your job. You okay? It's a blast from Everlast, and I gotta go. Seriously? It's like... <laughs> what happened? Hey, mechanic. Mechanic? Mechanic? Yeah. Man, mechanic zero brain, man. <laughs> what the hell, bro? You destroyed my song, bro. Last. We got two guys with the hair. We... <laughs> <laughs> bro, are you, you pull the box with me? <laughs> are you normal? <laughs> oh, man. See? Christos knows which box to open. I hope you're ready for hurricane season because the typhoon is here. Oh, damn! The typhoon, it's a mini one. <laughs> it's a mini typhoon. Nutter butter. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. I think it's nice. Ooh. It's like oh, Christmas. Oh. Oh. Hold on, let me see the second <laughs> piece. <laughs> Everlast. We have Everlast colored Lambo and Everlast colored fan. Everything is Everlast because it's very fast. <laughs> what? All right, got a blast from the past. We got our new Everlast Typhoon 230 here. Uh, I'm actually excited about this guy. Looks like it's all digital screen. Uh, came with the water cooler. The thing I'm most excited to try out is the new uh, wireless pedal from Nova. So come over here. We've been uh, using the Everlast welders for the last, I don't know, five plus years. We've got the PowerTake 315 that we've been using. Those have been good. So we're excited to test out the new stuff and get some new content for you guys. So stay tuned for another Paul Walker episode. That'll be hopefully next week. We'll introduce you guys to Blake. We'll talk about what we're gonna do with the car at the body shop, the wrap shop, and then we got a bunch of sponsors that we're working with. I haven't had time to go through everything yet, so I gotta sit down with Dave next week and go through all the stuff that we need to get ordered for the car, but that will that process will start um, you know, getting handled and we'll start moving along with that project. So stay tuned. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, one more thing I forgot to tell you. 11 a.m. PSD, next Friday, we're dropping the merch. So whoever asked for merch, we're dropping the merch next Friday. So you asked for it, you better order it. Thank you. Everlast.